Vive l'Empereur! I wanted to look at a key piece of terrain from the Battle of Léon in some detail, because I've found it extremely interesting ground to fight over. The hexes I'm interested in are those north of the Ferme de Morteau, a chateau that changed hands multiple times in our game. On the French side, the ground is dominated by a hill running from the village of mont en loin in the north to the chateau in the south. On the coalition side, the key terrain is a stream, also running north to south, terminating in the Ardon in the south. Both ends of the stream are marshy ground, and there's a forest along the southern half. Two roads cross the stream on trestles, which are key for moving artillery. We use rules that prevent guns from freely crossing streams. So let's examine the situation at 10 a.m. on March 9th. The French have advanced across the stream in the south in a bid to surround and eliminate Krasovsky's brigade in the chateau. Sebastiani's horse artillery has moved to the base of the hill so that a victory against Krasovsky will eliminate it. Here's where the ground becomes key. General Berg, commanding Vorontsov's Russians, is supporting the chateau with 10 strength points of artillery east of the stream. Their combined fire can sweep the four hexes north of the chateau. As the French player, I was slow to realize the implications of this deployment. During my first attack attempt, the horse artillery unit was suppressed by artillery reaction fire from across the river. The horse artillery has an initiative of four, which made it a key unit in my assault on the chateau. Any victorious attack on a chateau must involve a shot combat. The suppression meant defeat of this attack. This happened to me two more times before I figured out what was going on. It actually got worse as the day wore on. Berg's artillery wasn't fully assembled at first, so I had a chance of surviving in the valley below the ridge, but once all ten strength points of guns had deployed, they dominated the four hexes north of the chateau. With ten guns firing, any unit in those hexes would suffer either a retreat or a reduction. Ney's infantry in the south could have marched north and challenged the guns with a frontal attack, but they were occupied fighting around Chivy. The only other chance I had of occupying those hexes was a snowstorm that would block line of sight. As the afternoon wore on, this section of the field settled down. My cavalry and horse artillery held the town in the north, immune to artillery at three hexes out, and the hill, also protected from artillery fire. When I took the chateau, that unit was also protected from the Russian guns. The artillery reaction fire rules are a seemingly simple rules change that have enhanced the interest and excitement of the maps in the library series. They're filled with little gems like this that can dictate how an entire section of a battle unfolds. I've always found that the discovery and learning that takes place as I march my units around is a big part of what keeps me coming back for more. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Yeah.